Hey, Air Signs. How's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. If this is your weekend message for August 21st, 21st, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. So you, or, uh, you Air Signs are up first. We're going to do Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right. So Gemini, you guys are first. I'm just going to keep tallies. So I have it. All right, so Gemini's very, very good message to say at least for you guys for this weekend. Right off the hop, I feel like you might be in this place this weekend where you kind of just want to be alone. You kind of just want to recharge. You kind of have some stuff that's like really going on heavy in your heart. Maybe you've been, you know, going to war or battling something within yourself. I don't necessarily feel like you're being targeted from anyone or you're targeting anyone. I just feel like you're in this place that so much has happened lately and so many changes are going on in your life. That you're trying to capture every good moment you're trying to go out there and you know you're telling the universe this is what i want this is what i want this is what i've been manifesting and so the universe and spirit they're bringing it towards you but what what's happening is that when they're bringing it towards you you're feeling the energy shift you're feeling somewhat exhausted i don't know if anyone else is feeling this way but like this morning i woke up with like a huge headache and i i just feel nauseous so i know that something is changing around in my environment something is changing within myself because I normally never get a headache and I normally never get sick. So there is some some energy changing going on. I don't know if it's a purging or awakening or something, but there's definitely something going on for you guys this weekend. I feel like what spirit's just coming through, especially with the four of swords, is you know what? If you feel the need to rest, if you feel the need to meditate, if you feel the need to kind of go within yourself and take care of yourself for this weekend, don't feel ashamed about doing that. Don't feel like you know, your friends, your family, they're not going to accept that. I, I just feel like you may be in this place where you feel bad that you're taking yourself away from people socially because it's you're just in this place of being like, you know what, I'm just so exhausted, like mentally, emotionally. Like I just, I just want to sleep in. I just want to stay home on a Friday night. Like I don't want to party. Like, you know, there's a couple different messages coming up for some people. So the overall message I'm hearing is that if you feel like you need to take a break this weekend, then take the break. Um, there's also something about, I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made. And I feel like you guys are going to make that by the end of the weekend. So moving through, I feel like, you know what, regardless of what has been happening to you, regardless of what's going on, Gemini's, I feel like you're in this place where spirits coming through and saying like, I'm bringing you that promotion. I'm bringing you a new relationship. I'm bringing you something. So instead of sitting there feeling sorry for yourself, instead of sitting there feeling like nothing is, is, is good is going to happen, I feel like you're in this place where you're going to start seeing these abundances come through. You're going to start seeing the good stuff coming through. Um, and I think that's why the three of cards stuff here, because this is talking about celebration. So I do feel like maybe you guys are going to get a promotion this weekend, maybe a love offer, um, something on the line of that. But I feel like Spirit's just saying, you know what, everything that Gemini's have been through these last couple months, we definitely deserve to be happy. We definitely deserve to have everything good coming towards us. So don't push it away. You know, there is love coming for Gemini's. I definitely feel that with the two of cups coming up. This is talking about two people. This is talking about connections. It's talking about a union. Two people are coming together. It could just be a simple text message. It could be actually meeting someone. But I feel like this is definitely love. This is definitely romantic. This is definitely a soulmate twin flame that I'm feeling. So you are going the right way, Gemini's. We also have the sun card. So it's a beautiful reading for you guys. You guys are really going the right way. You're on the right direction. So keep on this path. This is also the yes card. So I feel like you're just in this place right now where it's go with the flow. Keep doing what you guys have been doing these last couple of months, manifesting, praying, um, taking care of yourself. I definitely feel like Gemini's need to continue on that path because the path is brighter than ever. And I feel like nothing but great things coming for Gemini. So with that, hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you guys have a, a safe, happy weekend and you take care of yourself. All right. So moving on, we're going to Libra. It's not charged yet. Okay, Libra, I feel like where you're going in this weekend is that you may be waiting for clarification. You may be waiting for a text to come through. You may be meeting, meeting. Well, you could be meeting, but that's totally up to you. Um, waiting on communication. I feel like 
kind of where this is going with, especially with the King of Cups, is I feel like someone is just being like really stubborn. Someone's being really stag stagnant. Um, I do sense that they want to make you an offer. I just think, I just think they're they're really like doing it at their own snail pace. Um, but there there is someone definitely watching you this week in Libra. For sure. I feel like what Spirit is saying is that um, you guys are just in this place of really being focused this week and really being grounded, really realizing that like your worth. I, I just feel like Libra's in this place of saying, you know what? I'm going to stop chasing things that aren't meant for me. I'm going to stop opening closed doors that Spirit has closed on me. So I feel like if you've been going around in circles, if you've been chasing people, if you've been trying to make relationships work and you're the only one putting in the work, Spirit's kind of putting a stop to this right now and saying, you know what, you just need to sit back and you need to let these people come towards you, especially with the Eight of Pentacles coming up because life is passing you by. So I feel like you have a choice right now, especially with the Two of Wands, to choose the direction in which you want to go. Do you want to stay where you've always been or do you want to go into something new? Um, this is a time of offers. This is a time of growth, guys. And I feel like whatever path you choose, I feel like you're going to choose that based on the emotional fulfillment that you guys want. So I feel like you're in this place right now. It's like Spirit saying, it doesn't matter which pathway you choose. You're still going to have obstacles. You're still going to have challenges. But I feel like you can overcome that, especially with the Wheel of Fortune coming up in Libra. Like, this is cycles ending. I feel like one chapter of your life is ending. And Spirit's kind of coming through and saying, you know what? You can turn the page to the past. You know, what you needed... <coughs> Sorry, guys. What you needed from the past, you don't need now. If you've been afraid that you're going to be single forever, Spirit's coming through and saying that you just need to choose a different direction. I don't know who this message is for, but over the weekend, it's deciding really what you want and where you want to head, and you're really working towards that. Yes, because you are ending something and starting something new this weekend. All right. So with that, Aquarius... All right, so I feel like for Aquarius, you're in this place right now where you feel really defeated. You feel let down, like someone has let you down. You feel like kind of on the verge of giving up. And Spirit's kind of coming through and saying, like, oh, we see you. We know you're upset. We know you're feeling down. We feel, we know you feel like you have no hope. But you need to remain standing strong. You need to have the strength of a warrior because what you're not seeing is that we've already got everything worked out for you. So why you feel like you're hopeless with that nine of wands, sorry. Why you feel like you're hopeless and defeated, Spirit says you're stronger than ever. You just got to believe in yourself a little more, Aquarius. All right? Like you're protecting yourself from something. Maybe it's past love. Maybe it's current love. Maybe it's just the thought of letting someone in. But it, it's definitely something like that. You're really guarded right now. And Spirit says like you can't let your past define you anymore, Aquarius. You can't let the stuff that has happened in your past keep you from moving forward because what we have coming to you is amazing. So you've got to find a balance with the six of pentacles. You got to realize that what you put out to the universe is what you're going to get back. So that that's in regards to your money as well. You've got to be careful not to give out more money than what you have at the moment. And at the end of the day, when all else fails, you can leave it to spirit. So we have the hero font. You can talk to God. You can pray to God. You can say, you know what? I'm in this place right now where I don't know where my money's going. I'm in this place right now where I don't know where my relationships are going. You know, I'm in this place where I, I don't understand what's happening to me. And I feel like that's kind of why the Hierophants came up. Because it's the universe trying to say you just need to open up. You just need to have trust and you just need to have faith. Because things are going to work out. But you need to get yourself out of that guarded mode. Guarded. Guarded mode. And then I have one's mode. You don't need to be in these anymore, Aquarius. You know? You've come too far to keep yourself defeated. You've come too too far now to keep yourself guarded. I'm not saying don't guard yourself. I'm saying just don't give all of yourself. If that's the case and you're afraid to let love in, just don't give all of yourself right away. Have some boundaries. Setting healthy boundaries is always a good thing. Right? So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Hopefully that helps you guys over the weekend. 
I am sending you guys all love and light, healing energy for everyone. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, air signs, and I'll see you guys again next weekend. Take care.